and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today's episode is about this puzzle here, a puzzle box called the Book of Fire. Kind of obvious if you see this flame here on the top. It's a puzzle box that was designed and made by Two in Jeems in the Netherlands. I put your link up here to his YouTube channel where it presents how we create some kind of puzzles and also some crazy do-it-yourself projects. If you look at this puzzle, it's very well made. So if I turn it around, you can see this thing is really beautiful from my point of view. Also, this logo here fits perfectly on the front. All laser cut, as said. There's not much to discover on this puzzle. So actually, there's only one slider you can move. And this is the slider here, but it has a very few distance to move and also spring-loaded and goes back in position. The task, of course, is to open it up but in the current condition it's locked and if you move it you can hear that there's kind of a bearing ball rolling around inside and it's pretty clear that this has something to do with the solution and what i can tell you about this puzzle already because i solved it already in advance but not in the intended way and after i heard how the intended way is to solve this puzzle i decided i have to show it to you because the solution is absolutely unique and brilliant i've never seen something like this before on the puzzle. Therefore, I will show you today kind of a walkthrough on how to solve this puzzle in the intended way. And I can tell you already, you will love it. In addition, I also would like to show you this puzzle here. It's called Alcatraz, a little tiny puzzle with a ball that is kept here inside of this cage. It was sent to me by a viewer, that Migo from the US. So thanks that for providing this. So I will try to solve this puzzle today first and then show you and explain you the solution of this one. And I can tell you already, you will be blown away by the solution of this puzzle here. And I would really appreciate your feedback on this puzzle down in the comments. So comment below if you like it, comment below if you don't, or comment below if you have any kind of other comments related to this puzzle, related, related to this channel. And after the spoiler break, we're gonna start. Let's put this one aside for now and let's focus here on the Alcatraz puzzle. Let me just zoom in a bit that you can see it more clearly. I think that's fine. So alcatrazpuzzle.com and it's actually, it seems it's also patent protected. There's a patent number back here. Very interesting for such a small puzzle. Let's see, I have already an idea how to open it up. You probably also, if you watch my channel frequently and this is spinning it, or bumping it against something. So I will start to spin it first. Um, doesn't seem to work. So I assume that I have to remove one of these sticks here. This won't work. There's no free play in Z. Both be held together by these two sticks here. The others have slight free play, these brass sticks. And Let's just bump it. No. No. Well, ooh, um, maybe bump it in a different direction. I can't, could assume that there might be some kind of a magnet or slider up here inside or down here. That seems to be the right move. Either I broke it or it's solved, I'm not sure. Oh. Let me just check if I can hear something moving. Yeah, now I can hear something moving inside. So there's definitely a magnet or something involved. Ah, snap back in position, probably on top of the stick up here. Yes, and if I do so, <laughs> Don't do this on the glass table. Um, if I do so, <laughs> imagine. <laughs> um, it seems to get out of position, get locked, and if I shake it back in position, it's locked again. So this is kind of an easy puzzle if you have experience with puzzles. If you don't, this can drive you crazy and take you forever to solve if they, no one will give you a hint. I think the bump or the force you need to apply to release this stick over here is too high the magnet is too strong from my point of view this 
would require to be optimized. So however, still an interesting looking puzzle, something for your working desk to fool your colleagues or something like that, but not really a serious puzzle for something, someone who's experienced with puzzle. Not like the next one, and I called this in the video description the impossible of fire, because I think this puzzle is really kind of impossible. I solved it with a lot of luck, but not in an intended way, as I mentioned in the introduction. And after I was told the intended way, I thought this is just insane and I need to show it to you, okay? So let's assume we take this puzzle in our hand and we have a first look. There is nothing moving at all, except inside this ball bearing. You can't push any of these sticks. If you think so, these are just part of the design of the box. However, you can move this slider over here. And after playing with this slider for a while, pushing it around, pulling it around, you might notice that on one side, on this side over here, you can lift it up. A pretty clever way to hide some information which you might not notice in the beginning. Still, you can slightly move it, but that's it pretty much. So you could assume this is not intended and this is maybe a failure or something. However, if you look at it in detail, in the slider, you might see that there is kind of a small little sign over here. Let me just zoom in to show it to you. You see this? What does this look like? It looks like kind of a fingerprint, I would assume. Okay, but why does it show a fingerprint? Well, um, there's something in addition you might have noticed but didn't think about, and this is this black dot over here. Okay, and this fingerprint means I should just touch it with my finger, hold it for a second, and afterwards it's completely transparent. Actually, it was slightly transparent before because I tried it a few minutes before. Usually this is dark black and now it gets transparent and you can completely see through. Very strange, very strange. And now, now, in addition, to this, you could also play around with this puzzle for a long, long time and try to figure out what this ball is doing inside. But the labyrinth or this type of a maze chambers this ball is inside is incredibly difficult to solve without looking at it or without being visible. Actually, from my point of view, it's only possible with a lot of luck. And there is a much, much more elegant and cooler way to do this. And this is, I take, um, the hint I was just given, and I really start thinking about what should this tell us? Does it maybe have any meaning? So look at the puzzle. Puzzle. Do you notice anything that could be connected to this hint? Well, it's hidden in plain sight because this little dot over here, as I told you, was black. And do you see anything else that is black here on this puzzle? Yes, of course. Now you got it. Now you got it, right? And this is the background, of course, behind the flame. Means if this background here would be made from the same material as this little plate circle over here, what would happen if you expose it to heat? Of course, I could not do some crazy stuff and breathe inside here or put it in the sun for, I don't know, five minutes and see what happens. Since I know the solution already and I would just would like to show it to you, I will use a hair dryer to demonstrate you what will happen if you expose it to heat of about 25 to 30 degrees. And I'm not talking about Fahrenheit, by the way, Celsius, <laughs> just to be clear, okay? So if I take the hair dryer here now, let's see what happens. So, and here we are after I increased the temperature of this black surface, which was actually no acrylic glass, but a thermochromic sticker. Means a sticker that changes its color related to the temperature it is exposed to. In this case, it gets from black to transparent and it will release a view on the inside of the locking mechanism inside in the labyrinth that I need to solve. And if you look here, carefully look here, you can see that there is a ball in this labyrinth and you can see what I meant before that this thing is really difficult to solve and only with luck because it's very unusual. You can see these drop-like 
shape labyrinths and only in the middle there is an exit in each layer so you cannot just go through but always need to be very carefully maneuver through it i will now do this with the ball since i can see it now it's very easy here we go now i'm in this compartment down here and now i will go over here and then carefully maneuver over here towards the slider here we go now it's in position and if it's in position i can now push the slider up and open up the book which is empty but so 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 super cool to open and how this works inside again and here it's better visible so the ball was up here it's caught up here and i need to maneuver it down here very easy to reset and very difficult to solve so kind of interesting maze in here if you see it it's kind of easy of course if you don't it's incredibly difficult if the ball gets over here he designed a, which is also cool, an acrylic spring over here, which provides, in addition to this spring over here, which is the spring that's driving the slider, this spring over here is for the latch mechanism. And if the ball is in place, you are able to operate this latch mechanism, move the hooks and unlock the puzzle. So actually, in fact, it's a combination of a common locking mechanism using the ball, of course, as elongation for the latch to be functional in combination with a maze puzzle, which is, if you see it, very simple to solve. But in combination with this one detail, using this thermochromic sticker, this puzzle is very unique, incredibly difficult. This is already, by the way, the second puzzle I reviewed from Two and Jeems. First one you can watch up here. And I'm really looking forward on what he's designing in the future because this puzzle is just amazing. As usual, especially for puzzles that are sent here by viewers. Let him know in the comments what you think about this puzzle. Subscribe if you like what you've seen. Check out his channel, of course. Leave a like and until next time, keep on puzzling.